Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Vintage Story. I'm Ira, and we're pretty much where we left off last time. Oh, there's clay here. We're clay. Well, clay is good. I've decided um, I'm going to add clay waypoints. What color should we use for clay? Let's go with green. I like using green. I don't know if it's going to show up very well. Move around a bit. Yeah, it shows up fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're still in the same area. And I think I am going to go, I'm going to continue north. We'll mark any clay that we find. We'll grab any berry bushes that we find. Uh, I am feeling like at this point, I may be able to say that I've done it. That I've kind of already reached a point where the game is survivable. Where I don't feel like... I just want to peek down there. Uh, let me through. Come on. There we go. I don't want to actually go down. I think it's just a hole anyway. Let's just go down a little bit. It's, uh... Oh, there is more. There is more in here. I don't know if monsters spawn underground when you first start playing. Well, there's nothing down here anyway. Okay, anyway, um... Yeah, I, I think I've reached a point where I'm not gonna starve to death. I think the number of berry bushes I currently have, the number of berries I currently have, as well as just all of the hares, all the animals, uh, that are around, which I don't need to kill and take their meat yet, because if I do that, the meat will go bad pretty quickly. Whoop. Um, but I can also, the other option is, I can kill the hares, take their meat, and because we've got all that hay light around, I can just salt it. I can just salt it and put it in barrels. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm in any danger of starvation anymore. I mean, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest, folks. Didn't really expect granite, granite, flint. Okay, uh, I didn't really expect it to be this easy, but here we are. We're doing okay. Uh, I would still my my ultimate goals, of course. I don't want to live off of cabbage berries and hair meat, right? I want to find more seeds. I want to find grain seeds so that we can achieve the goal of creating an automated uh, corn. To do that, we will also need flax because we need to make uh, sails for the windmill, and that will require flax. This music is spooping me, you guys. It's it's feeling creepy. This feels like it should be nighttime music, but it's not nighttime. Looking around, I don't see any more clay here. I do see some of those uh, termite mounds over there, which I think indicates the possible presence of hyenas. So again, it's another, it's a, it's a meat source, but more importantly, it's a leather source. Take these berry bushes with me. What are we doing? We got copper there. Again, I'm not gonna mark any more copper. We're, we're getting pretty far away from... Oh, there's some nicer music. I like that. Uh, we're getting pretty far away from home base now. So I'm just gonna I'll grab what I can grab and easily take with me. Like these berry bushes, for example, and the berries that they contain. Um, how are we doing? What's, what's, what's this way? Oh, there's so much! There's so much, though. And there's a trader down there. All right, let's head for that trader. It's about this way, right? I'm, getting, I'm starting to get pretty good at knowing exactly what direction to go in once I find something on the map. I'm not perfect. I'm getting pretty good is all I'm saying. Oh, we will definitely go and see what that trader has to offer. Um, and again, we still don't have any gears to trade. I will, I will start having to do some caving for sure in order to find gears. Uh, or it's possible that we can trade something to the traders in exchange for gears, but I gotta tell you, the rate of trading goods for gears is very poor. It's it's not a you don't get a good rate. <laughs> they're they're not gonna give me a decent amount of money for. Uh, all right, I have lost track of it. Where was it? Yeah, I have lost track of it. Indeed, it's up this way. Still don't see it. Uh, yeah, so you usually, usually the best bet for trading I find is bread. You can trade tools and stuff, but it's so much work to make the tools, and then you only get a few gears for them. It just doesn't feel worth it. If you can find all the different types of grain, and you get lucky and the traders are looking for bread, you can usually get a decent amount of gears that way. But then there's also the fact that the uh, traders have a limited number of gears to trade in the first place. So it's all... where is it? Where are you hiding? There you are. Oh, you got flowers around you. Look at this nice spot. Look at this nice spot. Can we just like... It's a little sunset. 
Beautiful sunset uh, over the hills and get the water in front of us. That's beautiful. I love it. Traitor! I don't know how you're surviving out here. You got secret stash of food that I don't know about. I don't know how you're managing that, but I guess it's none of my business. Do you have something of note that I could trade for in the future? Just furniture. Just trading furniture. Well, they want glass. Glass is something I will be able to make, as long as I can find enough fire clay to make, uh, what are they called? Chandelier. Like, this, this kind of stuff that you can trade, like heavy tool belt. I can't make this, right? So if I want a heavy tool belt to trade, I have to find it in a ruin. And it's this would be a very rare find in a ruin. And the ruin would take hours and hours and hours to find. So your, your, your reward for many hours of hard work finding an extremely rare item is only five gears? What can five gears buy me? Can't buy me a painting. Uh, it could get me a couple pieces of iron fence, I guess. Couldn't buy me bookshelves. Uh, I could get a couple wooden tables. I could get one black bronze lantern for five gears or one bismuth lantern. I mean, that doesn't seem like a fair trade. I'm gonna be honest. So we'll put a waypoint down. Furniture trader. Um, we'll come back to this eventually. So, yeah. What else we got around here? Oh, there's so much... Oh, look at this area, though. Okay, we gotta head over and we gotta take a look at that area. I'm gonna wind up going further and further from home. It's gonna take me forever to get back. Hopefully I won't run out of berries. The berries won't spoil. It's 1.7 days. These are only good for 9.2 hours. I guess I didn't need to take those with me, huh? I didn't need to take those with me at all. I could have left them at home in the cellar. I'm definitely not going to be able to sleep, because if I sleep, my berries will go bad. Alright, let's get over this... Let's get over this hill here. How far was it to that big, beautiful green area? I don't think it was far. I think it was right around the corner here. Right around the corner. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is another great big oasis. This is, uh, this actually kind of rivals, I would say. The one where I've decided to settle down. This is a real good sized one. We got some clay here, perhaps. I'm guessing we can probably get some berry bushes. And I'm right, look at that, they're right here. Black currants. I would prefer if I had, uh, more of the same type. And fewer of different types. You don't get any benefit from eating different types of berries. They just take up more room in your inventory, right? Alright, we got the ponds. Um, I don't see any animals yet, but I didn't- the- the, uh, hares and the chickens did not spawn in my area right away. They didn't- they didn't spawn until I had been there for like 24 hours, and then all of a sudden they were everywhere. Like, the game took some time to decide, okay, we're gonna put animals here. Oh, I love the flowers. I love how the flowers grow. You know, I'm gonna put a waypoint here as well. I don't think I'm ever gonna need the flowers, but it's a good just sort of... Uh... Just landmark, I suppose. So if I'm like, oh, what was up in this area? Oh, okay, this is where I found that other patch of flowers, right? It's getting harder to see, which I, I don't love. Um, take, a, take a quick look at the map. So really what I should be looking for is ruins. I shouldn't be worrying so much about the green right now. Oh, there's so much here, though. Okay, tell you what, I, I'll, tell you what I'll do. I, I see this ruins here. We're going to go through this area and around like there. Once so we get up to this area, we'll go south, we'll hit these ruins, and then I'm probably gonna head back home, because I feel like I need to, like, make a pit stop? I need to stop at home, and I need to offload what I have found. And, uh... You know, maybe make some more tools and stuff, maybe see how the cabbages are doing, and the cabbages are gonna take forever to grow, I think we know that, because I only have low-quality soil. That is also another thing I should keep an eye out for, if we've got these real big green areas, I don't think it's likely to find anything better than low quality soil, low fertility, sorry. Uh, because, you know, it's a desert. There's not gonna be a lot of, of, of nutrition and, and things in the soil. Here we go, we got more clay. Point add green clay. It is, it is uh, helping a lot to know that there's more of these patches of clay around. So I don't have to be quite so stingy with the clay. I can use it a little bit more than I have been. Still no plants growing out of the ground though. Not even, I think soybeans can grow in dry conditions like this. Have not seen any soybeans growing though. So maybe we won't get lucky with that. Might have to really rely, as I was originally planning, on the ruins and what we find in the urns there. I just really hope that we can find more than just cabbages. I mean, cabbages are great, but they take forever to grow, and we still need grain, you know? 
still need grain. All right, take a look at the map here. Come up this way. All right, so go back around. And then head up north. We have just got this huge pine forest in the middle of the desert here. There's so many trees here. It's amazing. And we have spoopy music. Complete with spoopy music, this place. <gasps> Mushrooms? Alright, alright, this is... Frankly confusing. Mushrooms are... Mushrooms grow in humid places. Mushrooms don't grow in dry places. This place is clearly dry. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm glad to have mushrooms available to me. It'll be our first vegetable nutrition, actually. But why? Why do they grow here, though? <laughs> why do the mushrooms grow in the desert? Those desert mushrooms, those famous desert mushrooms. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shucks. I, I, I said I was going to come, like, here and then go south, but I do have to explore this area. This is huge and beautiful. There's, there's, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, folks. You understand, right? You do understand. I'm going to come down to the edge of this water. And, oh, goodness. Oh, I might have to move, though. I just saw something run away. Was that a hare? I think it was. We've got animals. We've got water. We've got soil. Not as much... I think not as much soil around in general as where I've set up. But, I mean, I can, I can import soil. Look at this big, beautiful lake. I want to see it in the daylight, though. We are going to have to... Take these. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, I will take those. Thank you so much. Oh, game. Thank you, game. Thank you. Just gonna stack all these, even though you're not gonna get maximum durability. Durability? Freshness? We've got more flowers. Alright, we are gonna stay here at least until the sun comes up for sure. How are we doing on time? Well, we can't see the moon because it's cloudy. By the way, folks, I know that we've come to uh, understand in video games. Moon rises at the start of night, moon sets at the end of night. Um, this is a video game convention, which is used to help people tell how far into the night they've gone. So what's this? Okay, we'll go, we'll go through this little area here. Oh, this is so beautiful. Let's go take a little t words. Let's take a little swim. <laughs> These red flowers, by the way, on the map, they always look like waypoints. <laughs> It really messed me up. There's even a traitor on the north edge of this. Oh my gosh! This place is amazing! I mean, look at the coordinates. We're almost, you know, we're like 2.7 thousand blocks to the north here. We've, we've come a ways. We took a bit of a hike to get here. Um... But yeah, this is, uh, this is a video game convention that we're all used to. And I have come to realize... Quite recently... Some people don't don't realize that's a video game convention, and I, I've met like actual adult people in my life who think that the moon rises at the start of the night and sets uh, like at dawn. It doesn't. It doesn't, guys. You can see the moon in the middle of the day sometimes. The moon the moon's orbit around Earth is not 24 hours long. It's, uh, it's, it's shorter than that, I think. So, the moon will rise and set at different times every day. Sometimes you see the moon right in the middle of the day. And sometimes you don't. Sometimes you only see the moon at night. Sometimes you don't see the moon at all. Because, you know, weather and clouds and things. Um, oh my gosh. Where are we here? How far have we gone? We've still got so far around here to go. This is glorious. This is such a find. Oh, and there's a little baby hare. So there are animals here. We could survive here, folks. I think we might... Oh, look, just look at how big the lake is. We can't even see the other side from here. That is so epic. The moon is right up in the middle of the sky, okay. Which, again, in video games means it's midnight. In the real world, that wouldn't mean anything about what time it is. Just want to do a little public service announcement there. 
In case any of my viewers have spent more time looking at video game skies than at the real life sky. And that happens. I don't blame you. No judgment here. Look at this black sand beach. It is a gorgeous. We've got a ruin. We've got a ruin right here. Actually, have we passed by the trader? Trader doesn't have a lantern, does it? We have passed by the trader. Okay, let's go. Let's go take a peek at this trader. Let's go say hello. Let's go introduce ourselves. Because we, I think we're going to be neighbors. Leave, leave a comment, folks. If you're watching this, leave a comment. They have a lantern inside. Okay. I'll leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Should we move here? Should we move here? Okay, you're selling building materials, which could be useful. The bricks could be useful. The planks are too expensive. I mean, plaster could be useful. And chalk rock polished. Can I hit H from here? I can. Can I? Okay, I can't. I can't use this to get chalk, though. I can't grind it down. I wonder if I can ask the developers. Can you make it so that the chalk... The polished chalk rocks, I mean, it's still chalk. Can you make it so we can stick this in um, in the quern and grind it down into chalk? Because then it would actually be useful. These are just for decoration, honestly. And this person is buying, you know, stuff that I, again, I don't have the means to make. So anyway, we will add a waypoint. Building materials trader. There we go. Leave this person in their wagon. Well, good evening. Hmm. How are my blueberries doing, by the way? 3.7 hours left. Probably won't eat them all in that time. It'll start to go bad, but that's okay. All right, there was a there was a ruin over here. Yeah. Obviously, we need to dig up this ruin. Now, remember, keeping in mind, the thing we're mostly looking for and hoping for is seeds. And... Especially wheat seeds. Wheat, wheat and vegetable seeds, basically. Three days left before monsters appear. Goodness gracious. Time passes so fast. So I'm gonna have to use my pick to mine out. I mean, I do think there will be a, a loot thing here somewhere. But I'm not sure where. Maybe this one will even have a basement? Is it possible? Maybe. Let's let's just go ahead and mine out the rock. I want to see what I can find here. Yeah, here we go. Sea vessel! <gasps> what we got? I can't pick it up. <laughs> Turnip seeds. Okay. Turnip seeds are alright. That's vegetable. That is one of the things I was hoping for. I, I would be happier for grain, but I am not going to complain about turnips. We got turnip seeds, folks. We got our first vegetable seeds. Except for uh, the... Uh, Obviously, the uh, cabbage. Did get those first. I don't. I don't want to take away from the glory of the cabbage being first. <laughs> okay. Is there gonna be anything else here? I don't know. I need to learn which ruins are worth digging up and which are not. This is still going down. If I dig down further. Okay. It's just. I guess that's the bottom. I guess that's the bottom. So, what do you think this used to be, folks? Was this just? Whoop! Out of the water. I'm all wet. Was this just part of, like, a wall? Was this part of a house? I don't know. Um. Plenty of... Plenty of cobblestone here. Okay, definitely no basement. Can we drop, um... Yeah, we can drop. We can drop the basalt sand, I think. And pick up some more of these, because these are good for building. These are good for building my own home. I won't have to worry about making any cobblestone. Just pick it up from here. Oh, there's all the different shapes, though. So again, we're not worried. Usually I'm like, oh, I want to learn about the people who used to live here and what happened to them. Not this time. This time, it's all about survival. It's all about just living and finding my own way. Now, we do have the issue where I... Uh, I don't have the inventory space for all this. And especially if I'm considering potentially moving here, maybe I should just leave these here. That would probably be the wiser thing to do, and yet I don't appear to be stopping. Uh oh. What am I gonna do about that? It's this sort of compulsion to just get all the pieces. Just get it all. Alright, what can I drop here? Let's eat another bluebird. Mmm, that's good stuff. Um, I could drop the flint. I don't think I'm gonna need any more flint. Now, I can make copper tools. So 
Let me hoover up some more of these. Not all of them, though. We've got quite a lot of these now. Oh, maybe I'll leave the rest of the pieces here. I do have several flint axes. And several flint knives. Let's, let's drop the axe, which is damaged. Don't need that. Get some more of these. The rest of these pieces are just, uh... Oh, oh we missed one. I don't want to miss any. I got them all. <laughs> Gotta collect them all. Um... Yeah, I might leave the rest of the pieces here. I don't have enough cattails to make a basket, and I did not... No, I, I did not think to bring a chest with me on my back. That was foolish. I know better. Look at this. We just demolished this part of the map. Well, we'll leave the rest here. Maybe when we come back, they'll still be here. Uh, looks like there's another ruin of some sort down around here, or maybe it's just a patch of flowers? Only one way to find out, my friends. We need to go and see. Uh, one thing I am not seeing here, though, is clay. I don't think I've spotted any clay at this lakeside, so... Uh, that is important. We don't have any clay here. We'll have to import that from elsewhere, which is doable. But it's just a consideration. Oh, little baby hair. <laughs> Adorable. I really like this music. It's like the sun, the sunrise music, I think. It's beautiful. Alright, so I guess this is not a ruin. It's just more flowers. I'm not gonna complain about that. The flowers are beautiful. But they're not ruins. Okay, we've pretty much just come around pretty much the whole thing. We are gonna stop and check out this apparent ruin right here. And then I am gonna head back home. Um, I think I can let the building materials trader serve as a waypoint for this lake. I'd say I want to stay here and see the sun come up in this lake, though. The, the, the moon is going down. Let's just, let's just have, hold on a second here. Let's have a sit down. And let's just watch the sun come up. And here comes the sun. Oh, look at those god rays. Did you all see that? That is unbelievable. Oh, this game, this game, this game. This is just extraordinary. Uh, and I was right, this place is absolutely gorgeous in the daylight. I'm glad we stuck around, folks, even if it did take a little while. All right, uh, my blueberries are probably starting to rot. They are, and that's okay. Let's, uh, jump back into my body here. I think it's time to move along. We can, uh, can stop at those ruins that we saw before? <gasps> friends. My friends, are these what they look like? And to think, if we hadn't stopped to wait for the sunrise, I would never have seen these. Okay, but we do have a problem. They're not fully grown. And if you break them when they're not fully grown, there's a chance you'll get a seed, but there's a chance you'll get nothing. So I actually feel like maybe the best bet, maybe the safest bet, is to leave them growing, set a waypoint, and just come back and check on them once every couple of days or so until we see some of them full grown. And then you're guaranteed to get not only the seeds, but the vegetables too. I think that's our best bet. I do think they grow slower if they're wild like this, so it won't be just like three days. It'll probably be like a week or something. But since we are not in danger of starving right now, I think that's probably the best bet. Oh, look at the butterflies! Oh my goodness! This place is so beautiful. How can a desert be so beautiful? It's not even fair. All right, folks. Once again, I'm gonna ask you, do you think we should move here? Or do you think we should just kind of build a summer house here and go back and forth and use the resources from this place? I mean, I mean, are those chickens on that little island? Is that Chicken Island? There's chickens here. There's chickens here. I mean, of course there are. There's hares, there's gonna be chickens too, right? They do seem to go hand in hand. Hello, chickens. Oh, we got music as well. Oh, there's more berries right there. You know what? I'm gonna leave those berries. I feel like it'll be good to have a kind of a stash of berries here the next time I come back. Hello, chicken. Oh, you have so many babies. Your children are beautiful. And then there are more chickens over here on this little island. 
There's so many. Oh, this is wonderful. And there's a hare swimming away desperately. And another one. Oh, there's a fox. Oh, no, fox. Fox, you stay away from these chickens. I'm going to need these chickens later. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You go for a swim. I don't know how well foxes can swim, but we're about to find out. Chickens, run. Run for safety. Stay away from the fox. The fox is dangerous. You fox, you. <laughs> All right. I'm falling in love with this place. I think it's quite likely that we will end up moving here. Um, and though I have asked for you to vote and have asked for your opinion. Oh, it's nice to take a dip. It's nice to take a swim. It's so hot in the desert. It's so hot and dry. Um, yeah, although I value your opinions and I do want to know what you think. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm recording quite a bit ahead right now. I'm, I'm going to be releasing these episodes twice a week to try to keep up a little bit. But I'm just too motivated. I'm having too much fun. And so I... I I am several episodes ahead right now of what's being published, so, um, in fact, I think, I think episode two has just now gone up, like, as I'm playing this, uh, so I'm a bit ahead, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to take into consideration, Oh, I'm getting a little bit of frame lag, there's that ruin, um, yeah, I wanna know what you think. I might move up there, I might move up here, I might relocate. Now, I know there will be a vessel here. Will it be a farming vessel like it was last time? Is it here? Is it here? One of these corners has got a vessel behind it. I remember that. What, do you remember, friends? Oh, there it is. Farming vessel. Hmm. I do have a bit of a problem with that. Well, let's see what's in it. Heck it. Looks like I can pick up the reeds. Actually, is it enough? Oh, no, it's not enough. It's not quite- I'm just short of it being enough. Uh, if I could make a basket, I could put it on my back. Okay. We'll just- we'll leave that axe for now. We don't need that many axes. It's an excessive number of axes, right? We don't need it. I can stay. Pretty sure there are no other vessels, loot vessels, in these- these little ruins here. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back home. I'm gonna head back, regroup, think about what we've learned today, we'll think about what we've found, and start making some plans for the future. Oh my goodness. Folks, I'm taking a slightly different route home, going kind of a little bit further south, and what do I find over here but another massive patch of greenery? You know I have to go take a peek. I won't be able to take anything, because my inventory is, is absolutely full. I've got one spare spot there now. But I do need to go and take a look at this large green area. Although it does not seem to have a big, nice big lake. Oh, look at that! Friends, it's oak trees! It's great big giant oak trees! Did I just pick the worst possible direction when I first started playing? If I had gone in literally any other direction, would I have found... copious greenery? Because that's... That's bananas. There's copper everywhere, I'm noticing. Um, okay. Well. Um, perhaps this is a direction to come in when we're looking for bees? Maybe we'll find some beehives over here in these gigantic oak trees? Oh my god, there's- it's like a rainforest! Listen, oak trees. Listen. How did you grow this big with so little moisture? You're not supposed to be able to grow this big with so little mo this It's dry. You need water to grow like that. Oh my gosh. Now there may or may not be bees here. Oh my goodness. We have grain. There's grain here. What is it? It's flax. <gasps> it's a very important grain. My friends. All right. But again, if I harvest it now, I might not get seeds from both of these. I'm going to mark it. Gonna mark it here. Um, yeah, this one's just, these, these are both not even close to being finished. Uh, we'll have to come back and check on them later. Try to harvest them when they are ripe. Get a cave here. I've popped, I've popped my head down into a few caves along the way, by the way, folks. Uh, I haven't found anything of use yet. Just rock. Nothing but rock. I haven't found any extensive cave systems or anything like that. Oh my goodness gracious though, look at all this. There are butterflies. And there's even more up there in the hill. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, we got some slightly dangerous area here. Watch your watch your step, watch your feet. Peek, just peek down in here. Again, I'm not sure if uh, the monsters underground start spawning 
before the monsters above ground. You know, like I don't I don't know if it would be safe to go down here. Oh, I see ore right there. What is that? Nothing dangerous here, right? What is is that tin? Oh, it's tin! It's tin here. Okay. Hopefully nothing's gonna come screaming out of the dark. That's important. Um, I might even I don't have another torch, is the thing. Put that down there. You know what? I said I can't I said I can't take anything with me. I don't have any more inventory space. I will come back. I will come back. Goodness knows what's down here in the dark. The scary music is playing. I know it's probably just trying to psych me out, but we'll just make a note. There's tin there. That may be enough tin to uh, to make a to make a tin pick. And then we could start looking for iron. Which is basically the next step after you make bronze. Not a not a tin pick, a bronze, a tin bronze pick is what I meant to say. I'm sure you all knew what I meant. This is massive. This is insane. This is insane, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot more green in this world than I thought. What else can I say? Uh, we have found our first plants in the ground, which is very exciting. Got our first set of seeds that aren't cabbage. Also exciting. I found some tin ore. Extremely exciting. And I did find a place up north. Or I might want to relocate before I get too invested. So, it's been a big day, my friends. I'm feeling slightly exhausted by this day. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going! Dare I look at the map? Oh, wow. It does just keep going. There's some down here. You know if these are sandstone or something? There's more up here. There's like an ocean up here. Um, and from the ocean, I can, I can get salt, right? I know some of you are thinking, wait, can you actually make salt in the game? Um, I can, because I have installed the mod, salt water production. <laughs> of course, I don't need that in this game, because we do have lots and lots and lots of halite everywhere. Uh, but if you are playing this game and you're getting a little frustrated because you can't find salt, which, if you're playing in a normal world, is usually the case, uh, check out the Vintage Story forums, because there is a mod for that. There is a mod for that, and you can... Put water in barrels. It doesn't have to be any particular type of water. The game does not distinguish between salt water and fresh water yet. I say yet, because I do believe they eventually plan to do that. Uh, but if you put water in a barrel and leave it for 10 days, you get a little bit of salt. It's a slow process, but it's better than spending many hours of your life scouring the map for a resource that doesn't seem to exist, like I did before. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind. That one in carry capacity. Now that I've got carry capacity installed, I don't know how I ever lived without it, and I don't think I would care to ever try to play without it in the future. If you don't have carry capacity, go get it. It's free. It doesn't cost you nothing. It's very easy to install. Mods in this game are extremely easy to, to make and extremely easy to install. More underground there. Okay, no, I need to head home. I need to head home. Where am I now compared to home? That's where the hyenas were. That wasn't too far. Home is there. All right, it's not that far. Uh, but I think I'm probably out of time, though, for this video. It's just been too much happening. Too much happening. So, um, yeah, I'm going to call this one here. I am going to head back home. I'm not going to allow myself to be stopped and distracted by anything else this time. I'll go, go back home. I'll do some kind of grindy, behind-the-scenes stuff. I'll probably make some more tools. Maybe work in the house a little bit more. And spend some time contemplating whether I want to move to... Ooh. I'm going to twist my ankle. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I said I wasn't going to get distracted. Ira, what are you doing? This cave is enormous. Holy crap. What's down here? Ira, you're going home. It's not the time for this. This isn't This isn't the moment. You can come back later. Set a waypoint, Ira. All right, all right. Get back up here in the middle. Set the waypoint. Get blue. Big old cave. To explore later. I'm going home. I said I was going home and I'm going to do that. <laughs> well, any underground room. I'm very sad about that. Um, yes. I will do some behind the scenes work between now and next time. Uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you think about relocating and about plans in general. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'm very grateful to you all for your time and attention. I hope you have enjoyed it or found it calming or relaxing or inspirational or helpful in some way. And I hope that you will come back next time, and I'll see you next time. And I'll mark this trader as a waypoint, and we'll talk about it next time. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye.
Should I move or should I not move? Should I move or should I not move? The place I'm living now is nice. But the other place is also nice. I just can't sort through all these thoughts. Should I move or should I not?